Joe McCann. I'm the global ambassador for Grey Goose. Um, and this is actually my seventh Toronto International Film Festival. And uh, today I'm going to be taking you through a few of the drinks that make up our cocktail collection. First off, we've got the lovely Grey Goose Le Fizz. This is a staple of all the Grey Goose, uh, every real kind of top film event or every celebratory event, we want to serve this because it's quite a fresh drink. Um, it, it's kind of based or a little bit around champagne, uh, the flavors of champagne, and it's always great. We can serve it in big champagne magnums in our events. It's delicious. Next drink um, you see here, this is quite a playful drink. So we call it Le Premier. It's, uh, it's got Grey Goose again with lime, and then we use a uh, freshly made popcorn syrup which has all of that buttery, salty, wonderful characteristic that you want. Um, it's served like a julep over crushed ice, so we just mix it, mix it, and get really cold and fresh with some fresh mint, and then top it up with a little bit of fresh mint again, and some freshly popped butter popcorn. Um, really good, I think it's gonna be a hit. And then, uh, I'm a sucker for an espresso martini. It's probably one of the biggest growing uh, cocktails in the world at the moment, next to great coffee being available. So we did our own twist, but based around one of my favorite cinematic snacks, which is uh, raisinets, or I think here in Toronto they call them glassettes as well. Um, so we have Grey Goose Vodka, really top-notch, single-origin, freshly brewed espresso, and then a mix of creme de cacao blanc, and to get the raisiny uh, characteristic, a little bit of an aged, aged sweet sherry, like Pedro Menez. Um, so you mix that together, top it up with a little bit of shaved chocolate, and you get something that tastes just like a box of your favorite cinema snack. 